Hey, it's Eric Carlson. Welcome back. Great to see you. Well, I guess I can't really see you, but uh, you get the point. Great to have you back. I'm glad you're still t tuned in, and I hope you're taking notes today. Because today we're going to answer the one of the biggest questions I get all the time is, Eric, how do I lose weight? How do I get this body fat off of me? How do I get leaner? How do I get more energy? Well, first I want to tell you that losing weight is not some magic secret that uh, some people might try to sell you. When it comes to losing weight, it's a simple process. And it first really just takes commitment from you. Now a lot of people think, well it's really easy if I just go down to the store, pick up a bottle of pills, or take one every single day, I'll shed weight and I'll feel much better. That's what the ad tells me it does. The problem is, is that's not entirely true. And being in the fitness industry, I've gotten to see a lot of that. So I just want to let you know that you're going to lose weight by sticking to a program that will work for you, that is designed for you in order to get your body to the goal that you're wanting to achieve. Losing weight first starts with a commitment, a commitment to yourself. It's a decision. You decide, I'm going to look, feel, or perform in this, this way. Someday, it may not be today, but I'm going to commit to a program, to a system that's going to help me achieve my goals. Once you really make, when you really first make that commitment, then that is the first part of losing weight, committing to yourself to feel good at some point in your body. Now, there is some debate whether a calorie is just a calorie. Now, what it meaning is, if I can I just eat whatever I want? You know, can I eat a thousand calories of junk today, or do I have to eat a thousand calories of good food? Well, let me tell you this way. If I, I train two college athletes, which I've definitely done in the past, if I have two college athletes and I have them both on an intense training program, and one of them gets to eat five to six small meals a day that are balanced, full of clean, healthy, lean proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, and the other person, we'll call athlete B, has a diet that is filled with junk food and is only eating two to three times a day, I can guarantee you that. Athlete A, the guy who, guy or girl who's eating the clean, healthy diets throughout the day, will outperform the person who eats the junk food type of diet or who are just calories, just a calorie. Calorie intake is so important because that, that's what runs every system of the body. So you're going to want to eat good, clean, healthy food, not processed food, which you've heard me go over and over again. Avoid processed food. So you may not need to perform like an athlete, but your body still works on the same principles. So it has to be clean food in, it has to be exercise, good amounts of water, and it has to, you have to avoid processed, chemicalized, preserved foods that are literally making America sicker and sicker each year. We're eating foods that don't belong in the body. So if you want to stay healthy through the holiday season, if you want to stay healthy throughout the year, eat healthy, natural foods in their most natural state. That's the best way to do it. Okay. Number two on my list is rest. You have to have plenty of rest. You have to allow your body time to rest and repair. It, your body repairs over 300 billion new cells every single day. You're replacing organs, tissue, uh, everything, within, everything within the entire body is completely regenerated. Within only a few years, your actually entire skeleton is completely brand new. So you can literally say that within 10 years ago, you are not the exact same person you were. There's not a single cell in your body that was here 10 years ago. Okay? So you're completely new. You're remaking yourself new. So when you give your body rest and the proper nutrients, it can repair, it can rebuild, it can fortify and become stronger. And that's what you want to do. You want to transform your body every single week by putting in good food, healthy rest, and good cardio activity with strength training. Okay? Number three is, back to strength training, and interval, interval training. The best ways to lose weight is going to be working out three days a week. How many days a week? Exactly, three days a week. And you're going to want to do an intense workout where you're going to combine strength training, which is using weights, and interval training, which is going to include, include sprints or high intensity or uh, aerobic type of exercises. Okay? Those three things combined with daily minimal amount of activity is going to be the fastest way to help you lose weight. Now, yes, there is a large, vast amount of exercises that you can do to lose weight, and I'll give you a complete volume of how to do those on my website and in future videos. It's not one specific exercise. I would say, though, if you're looking to burn excess of fat, 
I would try interval training and running at high, high rates of speed for 30 seconds, resting for 30, 60, or 90 seconds. That's the best way to lose it the fastest. Now, if your body's not up to that type of performance at this time, then you want to start off with some, some cardio, a little bit slower type of cardio to get your body warmed up. Start walking 30 minutes every single day, adding strength training, moving up to strength and interval training is the fastest way to lose weight. So let's go over that again. You need, first of all, in order to lose the most weight possible, you need to you need to burn more calories than you intake every single day. Burn more, take in less. Okay. Next, you need plenty of rest. Get your body the rest that it needs. Whatever the sleep pattern is that you need. Is it four hours? Is it six? Is it eight hours? Whatever that is, get plenty of rest. Add meditation in there if you like some meditation. Meditating is a great way to calm the mind and get you single mind focus and back into your body again because we live in a very, very busy type of environment these days. And last again is adding weight and uh, strength training with interval training. Those are your best options when it comes to losing weight. So I hope you took good notes. We've got a new video coming up and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye.